ನೈನ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿಜಯನಗರ್ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಹಮನಿ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈನ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸುಟೇಬಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಜಯನಗರ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟಸ್ ಹು ರೋಟ್ ಮಧುರ ವಿಜಯ ಈಸ್ ಗಂಗಾದೇವಿ ಪ್ರೌಢದೇವರಾಯಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲಕ್ಕಣ್ಣ ದಂಡೇಶ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹು ರೋಟ್ ಅಮುಕ್ತ ಮಾಲ್ಯದ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ವಾಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣದೇವರಾಯ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಹೂ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಎ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಮದರಸ ಎಟ್ ಬೀದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಗವಾನ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹೂ ರೋಟ್ ಕಿತಾಬಿ ನವರಸ ವಾಸ್ ಇಬ್ರಾಹಿಂ ಆದಿಲ್ ಶಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ Second main, answer the following questions after discussing in your group. Name the four dynasties who ruled Vijayanagara Empire. Sangama, Salva, Tuluva, Aravidu. What were the achievements of Devaraya II? He had earned the title of Elephant Hunter. He defeated the King Kapilendra of Gajapati dynasty of Varisa and seized Kondavidu. He expanded the kingdom up to Krishna river in the northeast. He defeated the Kerala ruler and received royalties from Kerala and Sri Lanka. This earned him the title Dakshinapada Chakravarti. He chased the traditional foe Sultan Ahmad Shah. of bahmani till bijapur and occupied mudgal and bankapura what were the problems krishna devaraya had to face when he ascended the throne when he came to power the kingdom faced various complicated internal and external problems the europeans who had arrived through new sea route established their colonies the five shahi kingdoms of the bahmani dynasty plunged into wars with krishna devaraya in addition to these the kings of umattur and orissa were a constant source of threat what are the contributions of vijayanagara empire to the economic system and society economic system land tax was the main source of revenue for the kingdom farmers used to give off their income to the government in the form of tax professional tax revenue tax road tax market tax commercial tax import and export taxes were the other forms of revenue to the kingdom agriculture was the backbone of the economy people grew different kinds of crops throughout the year jowar ragi paddy wheat lentils pulses were the main crops they constructed wells tanks and canals to encourage irrigation and agriculture there were five kinds of practices of land holdings like geni guttige siddaya vara and gadi society there was also a occupation based caste system there were many skilled artisans blacksmith goldsmith bell metal smiths carpenters weavers and cobblers in the society the practice of child marriage sati and devadasi Deva system were prevalent Though monogamy was the common practice, kings and rich people had many wives. Women enjoyed a dignified status in society. 
there were female wrestlers and female palace guards holy deepavali dasara festivals were celebrated publicly dasara festival used to be celebrated with pomp and glory describe the art and architecture of the vijayanagara period the vijayanagara kings continued the architectural style of chalukyas cholas and hoysalas the unique feature of their architecture was the construction of huge auditorium and marriage halls temples had huge towers rayagopura leaf shaped arches and platforms rough granite stone kanashile was used for construction of these structures the style of constructing huge towers gopura in front of the temple was first started by the kings of vijayanagara the most important temple constructed in the beginning of the vijayanagara dynasty dynastic rule was vidyashankara temple at shringeri the most ancient temple of vijayanagara is Virupaksha temple at Hampi The Vijaya Vitthala temple of Hampi is known for its magnificent architectural beauty The Saptaswara musical pillars huge kalyana mantapas and the stone chariot have enhanced the beauty of this temple Kamal Mahal elephant stable queen's bath are wonderful examples of Indo muslim architectural style lakshmi narasimha kadale kaalu ganesha sasve kaalu ganesha and uddana veerabhadras idols are attractive Muhammad Gavan was an able prime minister of Bahmani kingdom how Muhammad Gavan ruled the kingdom with selflessness and dedication as a prime minister he took the Bahmani kingdom to great heights he served as the prime minister during the rule of Bahmani kings Humayun Nizam Shah and Muhammad Shah III he was responsible for enhancing the glory of Bahmani kingdom by his efficient administration and victories he conquered konkan goa and belagavi later he invaded varissa and conquered kondavedu he invaded kanchi and plundered its huge wealth describe the administration and taxation system during the rule of the bahmani sultans the administration there were three levels of administration namely central provincial and village among these there was revenue judicial and military administration too the sultan was the chief of the central administration the cabinet was called majlis e ilwit top officials commandants ulemas and i means friends and relatives of the sultan attending the meeting taxation system amir e jumalas were the head of the revenue authorities land tax was the main source of income for the kingdom one third to half of the agricultural production was collected as land tax there were 50 kinds of taxes including house mines tobacco grasslands trade and employment the money earned by taxation was used for maintaining palaces wars and bodyguards construction and maintenance of forts
explain the education art and architecture of the bahmanic sultans education the education policy of the adil shahis was to propagate islamic culture there were schools known as maktabs there were they were under the control of mo- mosques the students in the maktabs were taught the alphabet religion law poetry and rhetoric the madrasas were centers of higher education mohammad gawan who was a scholar himself established a madrasa college at bidar to encourage study of the islamic religion and law art and architecture the sultans developed indo sarsenic style of architecture the jamia mosque built by ali adil shah first is a prominent monument even today ibrahim roza gola gumbas gagan mahal and asar mahals are the important monuments of this time these monuments have made the adil shahis world famous the gol gumbas at vijaypura is one of the greatest to structures in the world it has an area of 1800 square feet there are seven storied minarets in the four corners of the building there is a huge dome in the center